Hey all you birdies and eagles, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rio. So golf, I'm at where it all began, Fremont Park Golf Course in Fremont, California. I just left school and I jetted out of the parking lot, took about an hour and 25 minutes, but I made it, I'm back in Fremont and I'm going to be doing a little beat my record, uh, haven't played this course in like a couple months, let's see where we're at, I don't know what I shot last time. I want to say I shot a 39. If I'm speaking too fast, um, I just had an energy drink and I got to really pee. Okay. So, <laughs> and I got a 515 tea time. It's five o'clock as we speak. Anyways, hopping out the car, first tee, no swings. I'm going to try and record. Hopefully I'm not paired with anyone, man. I'm really talking fast, but yeah, I haven't been here in a while. Going to do a beat my record and there's not much else to it. Haven't I haven't played here in a in a minute, so don't know what it's going to be like. It looks a little windy too. Let's let's mess around and shoot under par. <laughs> Jeez, my ball's in the mud. I raced to the first tee. The first tee was a. 132 yard hole one 132 yard par three 132 yards to the middle their tee boxes aren't trimmed I kind of screwed myself over uh, my pitching wedge is extremely short Well, it's not Fremont if I don't start with bogey or worse. That's a double. Started off with a double. It ain't Rio so golf if, if you don't double bogey the first hole. Mind you, I will say, excuse time, that first off, my ball was plugged. That's why it was extremely short. There was like no rollout. Second, I still had my keys and my wallet in my pocket. I normally don't play with my keys and my wallet in my pocket. Weighs me down. Or so I think. Anyways, we're on to hole two. The course is looking decent for being after summertime. Hole two is a 238 yard par four. Yes, short par four. Probably gonna hit seven iron just cause why hit the green? Am I right? Hit that to the right side of the fairway and I think it kicked back left. Probably like 40, 50 yards short of the, of the green. My watch said it was 224 yards to the middle. So again, why go for the green that's surrounded by water? Okay, we're on the right rough. My second shot, I got 60 degrees. A birdie. All right, nothing says Rio so golf than Fremont Park Golf Club, bogeys, double bogeys, and a birdie on hole two. Let's go. All right, we're on the hole three. Uh, card says it's 138 yards. My Apple Watch says it's 142. I think we're going to hit nine iron. This is brutal. I don't think I don't think eight iron would have been the play. If my shot came up short, we're putting for four. Let's see. Are we up? Because if not, I just lost a good good ball. Oh, we're up. We're right there. Don't think you can see it. In the rough. 
All right, at least I'm up. I didn't lose a good, good ball. I was just about to say, good, good ball meets good, good putter meets a saved up and down for par. This is a tentative putt, and then I hit, I hit a, I don't even know what to call it, a ground mark. All right, we're on to hole four. Hole four is a short par four, 181 yards. And I think we're gonna pull out the good old seven iron and see if we can connect. That was a nice, nicely struck ball that I believe is either just short of the green or on. We are on the green putting for eagle. We are barely on the green. That's a green and rag. That's green and rag. Tap-in birdies. Got a tap-in birdie on hole four. I don't think I've ever had that before. We're on to hole five. Hole five is the dog leg right. What's going on? All right, we're one over. So happy days, two birdies in a round. I don't think that's ever happened. We have a 266 yard dog leg right, par four. Then we're gonna go five iron. There's no water in the middle. Remember there used to be uh, water hazards? That was pummeled. We'll take that, baby. To have a, f a little flippy flip, flip, flip wedge. It appears to be no water in between holes four and five now. This side of the fairway looks nice. Looks no water. No water to be seen. Here we go with the approach wedge. That might have been too much club. I should have went with the 60. I got to chip up, uphill. Damn. And we flew that. I don't even think it hit the back side of the back slope of the green. I got 60 degrees somewhere. You didn't see much, but uh, I spent like five minutes looking for my ball. I had to take a drop. It's back to uh, regular trash golf. I finished with a six. We're on hole six. It's the shortest par three. My watch says 76 to the middle, 60 to the front. So I think, um, well, I think we're gonna go full swing and see what happens. Just short, but hey, we're on the green. Gotta go through a dirt patch, so. On the hole seven. 270 yard par four. No. Damn. The group in front of me let me play, but uh, I tried. 
tried to muscle it and uh, it turns out I barely got it to the floor. one of the more awkward shots I've had in a long, long time. Well, there's no water in the second pond. There's barely any water in that pond. And the fairway's still rough. Um, let's see, I'm just short, but I'm in, I'm in a tight lie. I will say there's not a lot of goose poop. That's nice. Although, as I said, there's goose poop in front of this green. I'm straight across. I got 60. I will say this, from what I did from where I was, topping my five iron off the tee to having one of the most awkward shots I've ever had, where the ball, ball was above my feet, yet, um, ball was above my feet, yet I had an upslope. I mean, I could name all the things, but we'll walk away with bogey. I think that takes us to four over. Um, so we're on course to break my record. And I'm about that. Let's go. Okay, we're on to hole eight. We're zooming. It's been an hour. I've played seven holes. Luckily, the, the threesome that was in front of the twosome in front of me let both of us play through. So props to those guys that I just talked to. All right, we got 80 yards, 78 yards to the middle. Uh, I'm going to go full send, 60. I made flush contact again, but I'm just short. Or I'm at the edge of the green. I don't know. We got a nasty putt, though. to beat the record and set a new one truly remarkable all righty we're on to hole nine hole nine at fremont park golf club you know it's been a great day i've gotten two birdies um i've had three other birdie chances we're on to hole nine hole nine's a 365 yard par four <clears throat> i got driver first time hitting driver do i need to hit driver probably not but you know needs must Just up on the left side, probably next to the probably next to the driving range. Well, I hope I didn't lose this good good ball. It stayed with me the entire round. And uh, Fremont, I am notorious for losing a ball. The ball I lost on. Hole five was, oh my, geez, a titleist. So, and good, good ball sound. Did they do something? Because it doesn't look as crappy. 154 yards to the middle of the green. I got eight iron. We didn't hit the green. All right, walking up to the green. Like I said, I'm just short. And uh, we're gonna chip with 60s.
Wow, that was impressive. I shot four over and I haven't played a Fremont in, must have been here during spring break. Had to be, had to be here during spring break because all the rain. I just finished hole nine, got a par, one putt par. Let's go. All righty, that's gonna conclude this beat my record out here at Fremont Park Golf Course. It's been a while since I've been here. Oh, that's right. It was, uh, I this whole video, you know, I couldn't figure out when the last time I played here. It was with Danny for a far left. Yep, it was a two far left matches out here. Um, wow, and I think that was during my spring break. So what was that, March? That was March, haven't been out here since March. Uh, what is it, the end of August, towards the end of August? Uh, course is decent. Uh, the rain, the water helped revive some parts. My trunk is still open. Hello. Shout out me. Shout out Fremont Park at the vibes, man. It's all about good vibes, you know? Uh, literally left school, drove an hour and 25 minutes, made it at five o'clock tea time, 5.15 tea time. I got two birdies, y'all. Like, shout out two birdies, okay? Technically, what? I had five birdie chances. I had three pars and I'm just, I'm so happy, you know, Fremont may not be the best course in the Bay Area, but hey, or price wise, I paid $32 for nine holes. <laughs> uh, get your priorities straight. Anyways, yeah, two birdies, those two double bogeys kind of, kind of hurt. Um, but for the most part, it was great to be out here. I don't know if that's my official record. I think I shot two over on my wedding or I shot, I tied the record of four over. So, you know, future Alex, that, that's your job. But yeah, it was a great time and played that. <laughs> Played the round in an hour and 20 minutes. So let's go. Uh, shout out to uh, Left Behind Golf. I was wearing the green mile glove today. Um, I'm wearing green school colors. So, you know, shout out my school. And shout out Roback, obviously. We're wearing, we're, that's what we're wearing is Roback. You guys know I rep Roback all day, every day. This video is not coming out for another minute. Uh, what, this is video episode 12, and I'm currently editing episode two of my third year, the trifecta. So uh, context for, for you all out there, because this is probably coming out in November. Ooh. October, probably October. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy that. Two birdies, leave a like. Leave a like for the two birdies. Drop a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.